أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يؤمنون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله My name is Mahe. I used to play for a very successful band called Nemesis. Uh, we have come up with two albums in the past 13 years. I um, took a permanent break from music to come fully in the way of Islam. But Mavata wasn't always like this. I'm a Jafan Shabai Chutu. I'm a Jafan Shabai তখন উই ওয়ার প্র্যাকটিসিং পাঁচ মাস আলহামদুলিল্লাহ নামাজ পড়তাম দেন ইন আর লট অফ ডিস্ট্রাকশন ইনক্লুডিং মিউজিক কেম ইন টু আর লাইফ দেয়ার ওয়াজ আ পয়েন্ট ওয়ের আই ওয়াজ ডুইং মিউজিক অ্যান্ড আই ওয়াজ অফারিং মাই সালা গিভিং প্রায়োরিটি টু মাই সালা ফার্স্ট অ্যান্ড দেন ডুইং মিউজিক উইচ মেড ইট ওকে ইন এ সেন্স টু ডু মিউজিক Well, now I, I've decided to quit and when I look back I think um, that Islam is not only about Salah, it has you know, other major things that uh, we need to follow and If you're into music, it does take you, your mind away from Allah even though I was offering my Salah but The other things I wasn't able to do because I never had the time So in my mind In my heart, I always knew that I would uh, want to quit music, but something that I've been doing all my life, it is you know, something that anyone would find really difficult to let go. And if there were to be a reason to let go, it would have to be the love for you know, something higher, something better than music. And in my case, uh, it was Allah. And Allah was for Allah. Uh, if it were for anything else, I don't think I would have been able to quit, honestly. Um, in all honesty, I was thinking of quitting music, but I can't tell you exactly why. It's just something that was in my heart that I had to let go. And I felt that something was not quite right. So, But I could never let, let go. And I guess I needed a, someone to pull the trigger. And for me, the trigger was getting married. And um, Alhamdulillah, it's been a little over a year and I realized that uh, when Allah says that for all the good men, there will be good women. And this, I think, is very important because I mean, I gave up namaz purtam, tabar chere de chi. Tabar abar shuru kurlam, abar chere de chi. But if you have a partner, um, who is also practicing, you guys can look after each other. I think that is, that is very important. Ultimately, uh, my life as it was, compared to what it is now, the only difference I see is uh, guidance. So if Allah guides us, uh, then you know, you're, you're set for life. Even if you're the best person, you still are in need for Allah's guidance. So the first and foremost thing that I would advise you know, anyone to do is to ask for guidance, then everything. My biggest inspiration would be my mother, uh, because uh, when we were children, she wasn't 100% practicing herself. So as we grew up, we grew up watching her grow as a Muslim. And the first time she did hijab, She came to pick us up from school and we were denying the fact that she was our mother. <laughs> we were trying to run away from her. Uh, but then from uh, you know, the uh, socially accepted hijab 
she went to the more traditional hijab over the years and I've seen her transform and that you know really inspires me uh, after a quick music I've grown a beard so you know I've had to hear you know names being called up to me and all that and peer pressure I think you know most of the Mostly the question that I get asked is uh, why, why have you left music? You know? So uh, it's, it's hard to explain to someone who's not really you know, following the same uh, train of thought as you are. But I, I tell them that you know, it's, it's for the best. You know? It's because Allah has guided me and I, I wish that Allah guides you. So that you realize something as well.